morning, good afternoon, good evening, sunshines. I hope you're having an awesome day. I am Christine Campbell Rappin, and welcome to my channel. I am a business success coach and lifestyle strategist, and I am here to share with you my journey to entrepreneurship. I hope it inspires you. I hope you can see yourself in the stories, and I hope you know that you can create success on your own terms and that the path to entrepreneurship is within your grasp. You get to choose your own adventure in life. And if you still think that the only path forward is that of being an employee, building somebody else's dream, I'm here to shatter that illusion right out of the gate because it's not true. There are so many opportunities beyond the corporate nine to five if you just take a look and bring an open mind. This is my journey to entrepreneurship and I, I want to share with you how it all started. I'm a bit unique in the fact that I always knew I wanted to build something for myself, but I didn't know what it would look like, and I didn't know when I would start down that path. And even if I'd imagined it, it would not be how it actually happened. So take heart. If you're not sure and you don't have the answers yet, you just have the seed that got planted that said, hmm, maybe this could be my path. I had a successful corporate career that spanned 25 years. I started my early career in marketing and branding and moved into customer development and sales. And eventually that led me into operations as well. So not only did I build bridges that led to different job functions, I also worked across a lot of unrelated industries. Throughout all that time, what was unique is that I was almost always the only woman at the table. I worked in heavily male dominated industries and I had to get really clear from my very first job at a university, what it went, meant to me to be a woman in the workplace and what boundaries and how I would define success were needed to flourish in a man's world. And I am so passionate about women and helping women succeed because you don't have a lot of great women mentors who have it right. And what I mean by right is a recognition that you are more than one label. You are more than just a wife, a mother, a career professional woman, you are more than just a daughter, a sister, a sibling, or any label that society wants to give you. I want all of you to know on this journey, you can be anything. And the most important thing is you can build your and story. I am a corporate executive. I'm a wife. I'm an entrepreneur who's running two global businesses. I have a life, a friendships, and I love the planet, being outside, traveling, and connecting with new people. The and is who I am. And I'm here to make a positive impact. I have this massive vision for my life. And it started because I knew it was time to bet on myself. So if you're sitting there thinking, I've worked so hard for other people that has no loyalty to me, that you may have hit a plot twist where whether that is a change in lifestyle, a change in life timeline, a change in your career trajectory, anything, those plot twists are golden moments of reinvention. And you can reinvent yourself. You can define success as you see fit and it can change. So for me, here's where it was when I jumped into the path of entrepreneurship. I had successfully been out on the road on business, helping small businesses become successful in their communities, in their businesses and help them with business tools. I'd had a great day of meetings, felt really good about all the progress and success. I was making and I came back to the hotel that I was staying at looking forward to a nice glass of wine and a relaxing evening in the lounge listening to some live music. Unfortunately, I walked through that hotel lobby and I saw HR and my boss sitting there and in a heartbeat, I knew what was happening. I was about to be fired and I never saw it coming. So after the moment of impact and that plot twist, my life would never be the same. And it was hard, I'll be honest. I had to spend a lot of time doing soul searching, figuring out what comes next, and I didn't get the answers that I was seeking. So many questions remain about that period in my life, but it happened and I needed to move forward. I promised myself three things, and I think it's important to share them with you here on this YouTube channel. The first was that I was never gonna be dependent on somebody else for my financial well-being. It was time to take a risk diversification strategy and start building a side hustle. Number two was that I was never going to let my social circle all be surrounded by the people I worked with. I liked my work colleagues, but the moment I lost my job, I became a pariah and I found myself without a community and community is everything. 
Because if you are looking to become an entrepreneur or to launch into a side hustle or do something where you can be more, give more, and do more, you're going to need a support network. And that's why I built a community. It's on Facebook. It's called Chasing Dreams and Making a Positive Impact. Come join it for people in tra transition and for early stage entrepreneurs. The third thing I promised myself was that I would never let work be my whole life. And I certainly worked 100 hours a week at times in my corporate career. I gave everything for my job. And it didn't always mean I had loyalty. It didn't always mean that I got ahead. And sometimes those plot twists happened and they made me who I am today. Somebody who was willing to bet on themselves. I knew I had the resiliency, tenacity, and vision to build something because I was building multi-million dollar businesses for other people and getting paid a fraction of my work. And so I knew. It was time to start moving. So I started with the exercise and started looking at how do I find success for myself in this chapter and in the coming years, because it was different than when I was 20 and when I was 30. The next thing I looked at was what does an opportunity of a dream capacity look like? Drop the job title, drop the expectation of how much money it needs to be. Start looking more broadly, because I will tell you there is infinite and I mean infinite opportunity out there. And it might be exactly what you're looking for in a package you never imagined. So don't say no out of fear, say yes out of possibility. It was a random Wednesday and I got an invitation through LinkedIn from someone in my network to say, do you, open, do you want to be open to a conversation? I've started something that might interest you. I wasn't looking on Wednesday to start a business. And I hesitated when I had the opportunity. I didn't, so let fear get in my way. I focused on, was my whole purpose in life to be average and to spend it as an employee? An emphatic no. Was I willing to grow and learn? An emphatic yes. Did I have the ability and interest to invest in myself, whether that was personal development and my mindset, was it financial resources to get going? The answer was yes. I would never let money be the obstacle for a vision of something beyond where I had control, where I could create a future that was job optional. And I have a commitment that this wasn't going to happen overnight. I would have to build something. I would have to grow into the leader I needed to be. I would have to grow into this version. But in my mid-40s, heck yes, I was ready. It was time to shift. It was time to expand. It was time to focus on possibility and not sit on the sidelines, leaving my potential go to waste or be unrecognized by a corporate employer who wanted me to live for weekends, who wanted to give me permission or denial for a vacation. I was over it. I wanted to run a global business, one where I had the cards in my hand. I didn't have the answer. I didn't know how. And so if you're thinking right now, sounds great. The path to entrepreneurship is something that I've been thinking about, but I'm scared. I don't know how to do it. I'm scared about money. I'm scared about what people will think. I'm scared about, you know, can I really do it? I know how you feel. I have those reservations when I started and I have them still today. But I was never going to let my life come to a place and time where I said, I wish I did. I was not going to let fear keep me living small. And so I took the most courageous decision of my life and it was one decision. So don't think it has to be the 10 steps you need. It has to be one decision. And that was the decision to bet on myself to say, I'm worth it. I can see the potential. I can see the potential in a product, a brand, a community, a leader, a mentor. I can see the potential in myself and all the people's lives I can impact. And five years into my journey as an entrepreneur, which you will see here on this page, it is about the journey. It's about being a work in progress. It's about the conversations in my head, it's the conversations I have with my clients. And the fact that your journey is a path, it's a continuum. Where I started in my business journey as an entrepreneur is not necessarily where I ended up or where my next chapter might lead me to. It's a domino. And so have faith that the dominoes will fall in your favor. Not every plot twist is a positive one, but they give you a skill and a knowing, an inner knowing that you can be the badass you know you're capable of to live a life that's extraordinary. This is my journey of entrepreneurship. This is my vision of how I can help others. 
And my vision is epic. I want people to know, to know their inner value, to define success for themselves, to stand on their own two feet and say, I can be my aunt. I can be amazing and incredible and not just the label society gives me. I can write my next chapter. And you know what? So can you. That's what I know. That's what I want to be part of. That's the community I want to build. That's the kind of clients I want to serve. So if you're considering entrepreneurship, you're in the right place. My name is Christine Campbell Rappin. I am a business success coach. I help early stage entrepreneurs make the shift, start a side hustle, and grow from buying a job to running a successful business that doesn't run you, but you define success on your own terms. I'm glad you're here. I look forward to having a conversation with you. And welcome to the Choose Your Own Adventure Ride of a Lifetime. I'll see you soon.